Well, like we all thought, Deadpool did manage to beat Avengers Infinity War. However, not everything is what it seems because it looks like Deadpool 2 might be in more trouble than we actually thought. Hello everybody, I'm Robert Storms. Welcome back to the channel once again. If you're finding me for the very first time, be sure to click that subscribe button. Well guys, the box office numbers are in and Deadpool 2 did manage to take out Avengers Affinity War out of the number one spot, bringing in $125 million in its opening weekend. And Avengers Infinity War dropped 53%. That was a huge drop. I wasn't really expecting Avengers Infinity War to drop 53%. I was thinking more between 40 and 45%, but it did have that huge drop. And I really wasn't expecting that. But the key thing here... Here. The main story that we have to talk about is Deadpool 2 underperforming because we have to sit here and we have to just, you know, point at the elephant in the room. And I'm not talking about me, guys. I know I'm big, but I'm not the elephant in the room, even though I guess technically I am in this room. But uh, Deadpool 2 underperformed compared to the first Deadpool movie. Deadpool 1 brought in $132 million in its opening weekend, and Deadpool 2 only brought in $125 and this is the reason why this is a big problem that a lot of people aren't talking about is because it underperformed compared to the first movie and that is because they released this so close to Avengers Infinity War the first Deadpool movie was released on Valentine's Day Valentine's Day weekend so movies in February usually do really good with these blockbuster type movies look at Black Panther Black Panther hit over a billion dollar very successful movie and I have no doubt in my mind if they would have released Deadpool 2 let's say in August or November we would have got a much bigger opening weekend number but a lot of people a lot of people went to go see Avengers Infinity War they brought their family to go see Avengers Infinity War and not everybody two weeks later has the money to take their family out and go see Deadpool 2 even though I don't condone you actually taking your family out to go see Deadpool 2 it's not really a family friendly film unless you have a fucked up family but once again that's your personal life, not mine. This is a problem because now we have Solo coming out. Solo's coming out this coming Thursday. So Deadpool 2 is going to drop at least, at least 50 to 55%. This is the problem because with Solo coming out, it's going to start eating at Deadpool's box office. And Avengers Infinity War is on the other side of that sandwich. And both are just going to keep eating at Deadpool's box office. And I honestly don't think Deadpool 2 is going to make nowhere near as much money as the first Deadpool movie made. The first Deadpool movie made $783 million worldwide. Right now, currently, worldwide, Deadpool 2 has made $301 million, which is fantastic. It really is. But now that, that money is going to start getting chipped away. People don't understand that your opening weekend is what sets the bar. And then every weekend after that gets lower and lower. It never goes up. It never gets higher and higher. It always gets lower and lower. So in the next coming weeks, with Solo coming out, Incredibles 2, Jurassic World 2, these numbers are going to start to go down for Deadpool. And I don't think it's going to make the $783 million that the first Deadpool made. And that is a huge letdown because it is clear they put a lot more money into this movie than they did in the first movie. My personal belief is that they just kind of released it at the wrong time. You can't release a movie like Deadpool around Avengers Infinity War and Solo. You can't. Whether or not you care about Star Wars Solo, the fact of the matter is there's a lot of people who cares about Star Wars Solo. And they're going to go see Solo this coming Thursday. And that's going to hurt Deadpool really bad. Whether or not you want to admit it or not, that is the facts. But on the other side of the coin, Avengers Infinity War crossed $1.8 billion dollars at the worldwide box office coming in right underneath Star Wars The Force Awakens I do believe at this point that Avengers Infinity War will surpass Star Wars Force Awakens at the box office it only has like 260 million more that it has to make at the worldwide box office in order to take that number three spot it's not going to be Titanic or Avatar
Avatar, but it's definitely going to surpass Star Wars The Force Awakens. The movie's fantastic. It's still going to be chucking out money. Even if it drops another 50% this coming weekend, it's still going to bring in at least 25 to $30 million this coming weekend. And I'm really curious to see how it's going to do with Deadpool and Solo all in the mix. That's going to be something we have to keep our eye on. But I'm telling you guys, maybe I'm overplaying this, but I honestly think the Deadpool 2's opening weekend box office numbers is really disappointing. And I think the movie really underperformed. Is it going to make its budget back? Of course. Is it going to still be profitable? Yes, this isn't a Just League situation. But no way... The studio is happy with these numbers. The studio was hoping for a much bigger opening weekend for Deadpool 2. And unfortunately, that just didn't happen. But I want to know what you guys think. Why do you think Deadpool 2 underperformed compared to the first film? Be sure to leave those comments in the comment box below. Be sure to hit that like button, guys. And once again, if you're finding my channel for the very first time, be sure to click that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.